Okay, it's February the 15th, 2004. We're at the New York Toy Fair, and I am Mark Tilden. And this is my baby. This is one of three built-in 45-second demos that he has, which is primarily designed basically to bring in customers. But it also shows the validity of the actual motion. The cool thing about the rubber safety is that using an advance on the beam technology that we developed over the past 15 years, you've got regular batteries in the feet, but he's running seven motors at the same time and not stalling out the motor in any possible case. The secret is the special gearboxes and the motors that we actually use, but also the nervous network technology that basically is the motor driver structure. Every single motor, when it moves, basically both generates and basically consumes power. So every motor is also its own measure. The motors are about 50% efficient. So every time a robot does this or does this, the reflex action, either walking or bouncing, basically means that half the energy is in fact returned to the power system inside it. We use a charge effect on the top of the regular batteries to make certain that the mechanism can hold that charge and then restore it. What this means is that although most radio controlled toys have maybe two to three motors that barely last for 20 minutes off of regular batteries, this guy can basically run for about 20 hours on all seven motors and not have to worry about running out. Functions and actions are symmetric. And the real secret about the creature is that if you take a look at all his motion and angles, they're not based upon what is called a Cartesian design. That is, he's not designed, like a lot of other sort of humanoid robots are, on graph paper. He's designed on a series of triangles and hexagons. And the real secret is making certain that he is, has all of his motors and all of his center of balance around a perfect hexagon that you can actually measure from his belly button to his legs, to his elbows, to his shoulders, even between them. The mechanism is designed so that the center balance is just slightly lower than the navel. And this is basically what allows him to basically maintain stability in walking, even when the arms are horribly distended outwards. So this is interesting. The mechanism uses absolutely no servos. Every single motor basically is driven by a nervous network automatic balance mechanism and the resonant dynamic physics. The device itself has absolutely, can completely destabilize its center of balance. That is, when you raise its hands above its head, its center of balance is now just slightly higher than its navel. So it walks quite fine. And the other interesting feature about the toy is even horribly off balance like this, there is no way make the toy fall over by itself. So that's pretty cool for a hundred buck robot with no gyroscope, the brain of a calculator, and two chips inside. One, the Hitachi motor driver based upon nervous network control technology, and two, a dedicated sound processor based upon a four depth stack, modified PIC-20, and 12K of assembler code.